Франциска Хильдебран, сегодня она в гостях у программы «Накануне». Hello, Франциска. Hello. И начну, пожалуй, с информации, которая буквально взорвала биатлонный мир. Как вы встретили новость о том, что Бьорн Далин и Дарья Домрачева ждут ребенка? Вы уже успели поздравить Ули? Um, yes, I met Ули yesterday here in Tumen. And I said congratulations to him because um, I was very happy for both of them that they get a child. It's always uh, nice when the Bayern family uh, grows up. <laughs> Скажите, вот в этом сезоне женская сборная Германии выступила очень здорово, заняли первое место по итогам Кубка, в Кубке нации. Скажите, в чем секрет? Может быть, какая-то атмосфера в команде, специальные тренировки? Um, in a, or we can work in a smooth way and so we have a lot of fun during training and I think that's very good uh, to perform in a very high level and especially for our um, skis <laughs> we have a very um, strong serviceman team and they always try our best and we have the truck where all of our material stays and our servicemen, they are normally the first, first to go out from the hotel to the track. And early in the morning, they test a lot of stuff so that we, and normally, I think we have very good skis. <laughs> and this is one of the secrets where we can um, have a lot of good results. В интервью, которое вы давали в декабре, вы очень сильно переживали по поводу того, что ушел Рика Гросс. Я знаю, что вы с ним плотно тренировались. Как теперь вы воспринимаете переход его в нашу команду? И как вы считаете, это нашей команде как-то помогло, усилило ее? Рико, он был мой тренер уже почти 6 лет. И я думаю, мы работали вместе очень успешно. Когда я пришел к нему, я был атлетом who was not part of the World Cup team and he always uh, tries to find the best in myself that I can develop my, me and get stronger in biathlon and he always um, has the possibility to motivate myself and so I was very disappointed and surprised when I he heard that he uh, changed the nation and goes to the Russian team Um, I was sad for myself, <laughs> but I thought, um, or I know he's a very good coach and he always tries his best and is watching for the athletes and he's always in, in the competition together with the athletes and I think for the Russian team he can um, develop them. I don't know how they trained up to now, I think it's completely different to the German Um, system. So I, I'm always looking a little bit for the Russian team because uh, I like Rico as coach and so I hope that he is also successful with the Russian team. Franziska, what are your plans for the future, the next season? In this year you have the fifth place in the end of the Cup. Do you have the strength to win the next year to win the Crystal Globus? Um, yeah, I would like to develop myself. Um, this year I had very good results in the World Cup, but as always I would like to do it a little bit better. Um, but we have a very strong uh, international athletes with Gabriela Sukalova, um, who this year took the uh, overall total World Cup score, or who was best in the total World Cup. And Marie Doran, she is always very strong. So, um, Kaisa Makarainen. <laughs> Kaisa Makarainen, yeah. And so I think um, it's very hard to be the best, but I would like to try to be the best as always. And when Daya Domrasheva, she quits one more year, um, I think normally she's very strong. And so maybe we will see what happens next year. There is one 
is a little bit spaced because she's not uh, at the start. And yeah, we will see what happens. I try my best over the summer. I would like to develop myself a little bit more and then I hope maybe that I can reach one of the globes. <laughs> Francesca, вы очень активны uh, в интернете. Вы ведете страничку в Фейсбуке. Скажите, как часто вот вы лично отвечаете своим фанатам и вообще скажите, зачем вам эта страница? Um, I try to use it twice a week um, because I, for me it's important to say a little bit thank you to the spectators. They all cheer me around the year and support me in different kind of places. And so I think it's important that they, or it's interesting for them that they know, okay, what she's doing all the year. Um, here you can see I uh, was on the Winkelmoos to use the rest kind of snow for training, especially to prepare for Truman a little bit <laughs> so that I can be here in a good shape. And yeah, it's interesting for the spectators to be part of the family and maybe to be a little bit part of my life. And so um, with Facebook, it's easy for me uh, to, to let them be part of my life. Франциска, спасибо большое за интервью. Спасибо, напомню, у нас в гостях была Франциска Хильдебранд, победитель этапов Кубка мира, призер чемпионата мира, лидер женской сборной Германии по биатлону.